and it is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. From Queens, New York, weighing in at 276 pounds, he is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Big Cass! The bell rings and Colin Cassidy gets to work. And Michael, with the championship on the line, you know these guys are going to do whatever it takes to leave here with it. It's go time, people. Regardless of the rest of it, that telephone pole of a man is in the ring and ready to wreak some havoc. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Oh, not again. Not again. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Let's talk about the challenger briefly. Do you really think he can unseat the champion here? Booker T comes in as the challenger, but I'll tell you one thing. Very little separates these two superstars. That title is up for grabs tonight. Well, I'm sure he's thinking this is the biggest match in his career. The world title's within his grasp, and he's worked hard to get here. I'm sure he doesn't want this opportunity to slip away. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you have to see Colin Cassidy live and in person. He's like a tree with legs. He's got to be nearly <laughs> seven feet tall. Yeah, and you can't teach that, Cole. At least that's what Enzo Amore likes to say. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Oh, this is not going to be good. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. Aside from his overwhelming height, Colin Cassidy also brings a ton of street smarts with him to the ring, having grown up in one of Queens, New York's toughest sections. You know, Cole, you have a lot of street smarts. Sesame Street. He 
He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Yeah. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Off the top rope, really pushing his opponent to the limit here. And that's why the adage holds true. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. I believe that's the first time he's ever attempted this. Street smarts and enormous size, huh? I think Colin Cassidy is going to do just fine here in the WWE. You know, I'm not so sure outside is where you want to be. This floor is not very forgiving. Forgiving? Those mats don't cover up this concrete. Back inside the ring now. He's on the defensive here. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. Hey, when it comes to the guy's finisher, he's up the belief if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Yeah, I just have a feeling that we have yet to see the best of this guy here tonight. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Not this. He's looking at it again. Playing my games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. And he's heading out onto the floor. Yeah, and can you imagine the damage he's going to be able to do out there? He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. He's too busy bragging and boasting the battle into this matchup. He gets out of trouble there. He's in full-on attack mode now. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. The shoulder's taking a great amount of abuse here. He can't stand up. Got him where he wants it. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Whoa! That was some reversal by Booker T. Wow! Here we see it from this angle. Looks like he's having trouble staying in the ring. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. This might be it. Oh, man, is he fired up. Boy, he just got laid out. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. Colin Cassidy, no problem getting out of that one. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Uh-oh, looks like this one's going out to the floor. What was your first clear? Championship on the line. Oh, well, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? One more time for everyone at home. He wants no part of the outside. Well, I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. Higher and higher. 
He's so close. He can probably taste the victory right now. Oh, this is scary. I can tell you from experience, it feels like you're 10 miles in the air now. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Heading up. Nice dodge there. Here comes Booker. A vicious attack on top of the ladder. Oh, there's a lot to hit there. Now the question is, is this going to continue? And if so, for look at this hit. Incredible. Uh oh, trying to put him away. more how much more are you willing to pay to win this match this is unreal and Booker T can't wait for the next section here it comes I love watching these replays we've got a climber now he uh this match is his if he can just pull it down pull it, pull Oh, his body has to be broken right now. A singles title doesn't gain you instant entry into the Hall of Fame, but it sure gets you a whole heck of a lot closer. He's going to have to hurry and pull. Making it to the top of the ladder may be the easy part. Once you start working on bringing that thing down, you are completely vulnerable. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Okay, here we go. He's just as dangerous on that ladder as he is on the mat. This just gets worse. We talk about separation between you and your opponent as a key to victory. I don't know how you can be expected to do that when you're getting beaten all to hell. Champion, we just witnessed what many felt was impossible. Oh my gosh, he's done it, Cole. He's finally done it. Yeah, an incredible, incredible win. Think about the challenges that he's overcome. Think about the mountains that he's had to climb. Well, it's been a long, hard road, but it's all worth it right now to hold that championship high above your head. Listen to this. Listen to this huge crowd, Cole. Celebration time. An incredible moment. I've got goosebumps. Enjoy.